Hello, hello, hello beautiful people, welcome back to a brand new video. Today a brand new quest was released to old school RuneScape, but unfortunately I was, I guess, not really paying attention and I never completed Defender of Varok or the Path of Glofri on this account. So today I'm gonna be starting a little bit late and we're gonna go ahead and complete these two quests. And after that we are also going to complete Wild Gothic Sleeps and start farming some tormented demons. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first quest I'm gonna do is the Path of Glowfree. I honestly don't know what to expect. I'm gonna assume this is the budget trident quest. And we started off by speaking to King Baldrin, so let's see how long this takes me. Quest Helper is currently down, so this unironically took me 30 minutes to complete, but after killing this, I believe the quest is about to be done. Alright, Hazelmere brought us out and we get a bunch of lamps actually. Obviously we're maxed, we don't really care about any of that, but we are now on 302 quest points. Let's start the Defender of Varrock right after claiming all of this, thank you very much. At this point, just trying to get to the Wild Gothic Sleeps part as fast as possible, and the quest helper is back up, so at least this quest is gonna be fast. Okay, and with that, I believe we are now ready to tackle on the wild gothic sleeps. It only took me, I'd say, about 40-50 uh, minutes of prep, but here it is, a bit of smithing, bit of hunter, bit of quest, defender of Varrock done. Here we go, by speaking to Ivy, we should be able to start wild gothic sleeps. There it is, questless guide. It might take me many hours, but let's get at it. Someone else is fighting. What do you mean? Can I fight this guy? Wait, do I need to move? Nothing personal? Why am I being Diddy aspect? That is... <laughs> My guy said nothing personal adventurer. There is no shot. Bro, I got... I almost got stacked out. What the hell? Alright, he didn't make it. Nice and easy. Come on, Teresic, bro. You have a full inventory of bruise. You got this. He's actually getting kind of cooked, though. Oh my god. Am I missing something here? Am I supposed to like do something here or like is my guy just dying? So they're going for a death match over here. Come on, you're the goat, Teresic. You got this. There it is. What a what a king man. He did it. It only took him about seven minutes. Is he gonna bury his bones? No. Alright. We did it. Assassin's down. So, because of the way E is, we're gonna be tactically using an earth rune on this door. Oh! That was air. That was definitely air. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, so... <laughs> it has to be air, right? Like, come on now. There we go, we're the goat. First try, first try. Okay, we gave her the seed. Oh, I need to be standing in the doorway. Wait, that's kind of nice, no? That animation was satisfying. Jagex, my monsters are stuck in a wall. Jagex, Jagex, I cannot kill him. Okay, here we go, we try it. So, telegram? Hi, Alk. <laughs> Wait, that's so stupid, but it works. That is so dumb. I love it. Oh, I remember this. This brings so many memories. Okay, let's get it done. I think we're close to the end here. Okay, after trying to solve the puzzle for a very long time, I do believe this one should say that it requires strength, and this should be the last dolmen that we need. We put this on the center, we re-gear, we re-bank, we get a full inventory, and uh, I do believe there should just be a boss fight and the quest completion. So I don't really know what to expect from the boss fight. Haven't looked at anybody doing it or anything like that, so we're just gonna go into it blind. Yeah, that should be everything. Alright, I'm somewhat geared for this fight. Honestly, I don't have any idea what to expect. We're gonna go in a little bit of a weird setup, a bit more on the defense here, into a very weird range switch, into a very weird melee switch. And we're just gonna see. I genuinely don't know what to expect, so... If it poisons, we're screwed. But there it is, the mysterious stone. Okay, so... Yeah, that's range, very obviously. Okay, 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 we're chilling. Let's see. That is melee for sure, because he walked into me. That is... probably mage? Yeah, that's magic for sure. So yeah, basically, just look at the head. If it's blue, pray magic. If it's white, like there, pray melee. And if it's yellow, pray range. That's it. And then just switch your attack style accordingly for the boss. I think that's it. That should probably be the quest completed. Pretty enjoyable fight, not gonna lie. Very simple, very logical, but very fun. Oh shit, what the hell? There's more. Is this magic or? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I did not expect there's more to it. 
Bro, they look like insane. What? Okay, I think this guy's dead. Okay, so you can move away from that. So there we go, two tormented demons defeated. And just like that, bada beam, bada boom, the quest should be completed. There it is, while Gothic Sleeps completed five quest points and uh, a bunch of XP actually, that we don't care about. I am ready to kill some demons, I'm gonna get a nice setup going and uh, we're gonna farm some money hopefully today. This is the first time bro, I'm wearing so much money on me right now, it is actually kinda scary bro, I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like I could just do mage melee. Okay, so it seems to block 40% of the damage that I'm dealing. That is a lot of damage, you know. Why is there one on top of another, my guy? Wait, they're both hitting me. Okay, well that's one down. First drop. I don't know, I got a combat achievement apparently. But it's cool to see that these are basically completely the same as in RS3. I'm gonna do one trip with the inventory looking a little like this. So I have my range setup and I switch into my melee setup. And I think this is how I'm gonna try it for a bit. Because magic can get quite expensive if you keep uh, using the shadow. And I'm also using toxic blowpipe to heal a bit. And I'm also having amulet of blood fury to heal a bit. Simply because I don't think there's a teleporter directly to the place just yet. The first iteration of a setup is looking a little like this. We went on Arceus spellbook for thralls. Maybe I'll even use a little bit of death charge. I'm not very good at this spellbook. Honestly, this guy might be cooking here. Look, he's using arc light with the defender. That honestly might be the play. Once we do get the drops from these tormented demons, we can get good enhancements for the spells that I can cast on this spellbook. So I do believe this is kind of where you want to get to. I'm going to assume arc light with obviously upgraded arc light is going to be the play. And then also this spells hits a demon for major damage uh, because there is a purging staff that you can created that will also deal double damage with this so i think this is definitely gonna be the play for the tormented demons in the future however right now we don't have any of that and that is not yet available because the quest was as i said just released so we're gonna try to do it a little bit like this see if we can score any good drops and see how it feels and i'll keep updating you on the gear changes and gear setups as i go basically but yeah, this setup looks pretty good obviously i don't know the food to potion ratio just yet magic shortbow Okay, I forgot to use a Thrall as well. Okay, looks like we're gonna be getting some magic short bows, but god damn it. I'm kind of tempted to just bring Alks, to be completely honest, by the way. If these are the type of drops, I mean, I could just leave them on the floor as well. Tormented Synapse, that's the drop, by the way. Holy shit, this could be one of the first in the game. I'm like three kills in. We're throwing this shit on the GE immediately. This could be absolutely insane profit. That is, there is no way, by the way. There is no way, there is no way. There is actually no way. But how much do I put it in for? So people are saying, like, big monies. I'm gonna respectfully put it in for 500 mil. I'm so optimistic, bro. Surely somebody needs this shit, right? I think just make a weapon. Wait, which weapon do we make? Ah, okay, magic longbow with a tormented synapse. Okay. I'm thinking the magic thing, or? You guys wanna see Emberlight, or I could make a purging staff. You can auto-cast spells from Arceus Spellbook and double the bonuses of its Demon Bane spells. I think the Purging Staff is what we make. Maybe I could ask one of the heroes that confronted Lucian for some ideas. Okay, let's figure this thing out. It's like a new mini quest. I'm definitely making a staff out of this because the staff can auto-cast this. And this sounds insane. And I obviously I have the full mage setup, so it actually might be the vibe. Wait, this is Kuradal. Wait, what happened to Duradel? Wait, she has the claws. Hold up, she knows. She knows for sure. Okay, old notebook. You flick through a lifetime of notes on demons slaying, absorbing what you can. One passage catches your eyes. Demons are the most well suited to killing each other. Everything from their blood to their magic. Okay. Crafting some weapons out of the money parts. Okay, we're learning, we're learning. We get a thousand slayer XP and I think we now know how to do it. Okay, so inspect. Dorada's note mentioned creating a weapon out of demon parts. Maybe I should try it with this. Okay, we're just gonna send it. Chisel on the tormented thing. <laughs> Fuck, nothing happens. Use tormented on the Duradel notes. Damn it. Dude, I wanna make a staff. How do I make a staff? Battle staff. Use tormented synapse battle staff. Nothing happens. Damn it. Maybe fire battle staffs? The demon drop battle staffs and fire orbs. Let's just keep trying. We're gonna try a bunch of things and see what works. Okay, let's see. I have a good feeling about this. Use on this. Fuck. What else could be related to Arceus? Try to use it on an... You require either a battle staff and an iron bar or arc light to make a weapon. Nice! You guys figured it out. So battle staff and an iron bar. Let's go. 
We're gonna have it. We're gonna have it. That's huge. Oh. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have just created a purging staff. Let's uh, get the max mage setup going and uh, let's see how strong it is. Staff spec casts the highest available demon blade spell. If it kills a demon, it refunds its special attack. What the fuck? So you can like kill it and then get another one. Is it gonna be insane or is it gonna be ass? The first impression is everything. Let's take a look. Oh, here we go. The demon all for myself. I can boost it even further. Oh my god, 51. What am I hitting? 46. Oh, it's beautiful. What is this? I already need to melee. 32. Okay. I don't know how good Arc Light will be. Let's try to spec. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Dude, the animation is so sick. There it is. Not so great after all. I'm just getting, uh, like, tasks that I don't even know what I did. But, oh my god, I'm so impressed. Like, look, melee is kind of struggling a little bit, right? I mean, Demon Bane goes hard, so the next one we get, we're definitely putting on Arclight. Bro, it hits so hard. 32. 35. And now I need to go back to melee already. That is so crazy. I love it. Oh, man, it's beautiful. 50. 33. And you're dead, buddy. Pleasure doing business. I am a big fan of the staff, bro. A big fan. The setup is pretty confirmed nice right now. So I think we just stick to it and we see how it goes. Magic short bow. You know what I'm not doing nearly enough of? I'm not using thralls nearly enough. A rune dagger. Oh! Dying. Through fire and flames. I'm just getting all the tasks completed and I don't even know what I'm doing. The inventory looks pretty decent what we are running with right now to be honest. I don't think I'll change too much. The only thing I could change to make the trips a bit longer is a little bit less switches. But then that means lower numbers and we don't like lower numbers. So we probably won't change much on the setup. <laughs> this guy's like, how long did it take you to get it? I'm like 3kc, bro. <laughs> look, look at the difference. He's using the Bofa setup. I'm using the Arc Light into the Magic setup. How much faster do I kill it? He started his kill before me, by the way. Look, he's hitting zeros nonstop. Look at us, by the way. Let me move. Oh, this could be a big hit here. Boom, 73. 41, okay. But look, my guy just started the kill. I'm about to finish it. Making this staff was the best investment we could have done, I feel like. <laughs> oh, man, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Nice. A little update. We're currently 17 kills in, and it feels like I almost never need food at this point. I feel like... I understand the mechanics enough to the point where the food is just no longer needed. So I might just be coming here in a full setup of just restores. And uh, even when I do take a little bit of damage, the blood fury just heals me back to full, basically. I just got a smoldering gland. What is this? What? I just crushed it, releasing its unholy blessing. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, did I get like a bunch of prayer or something? Okay, okay, my prayer is max, I see. Okay, well, that's new. First in 20 kills. Dude, I love this hits. It's just a guaranteed 58. There it is. We did it again. Just a guaranteed massive hits. It's so satisfying, man. I see everyone around me needing like seven years to kill these bosses. And we're just zooming through. This spellbook goes so hard. Like these animations are so cool. So now you actually have a reason to use it. And that's what I really like. I believe we're now at a point where we are perfectly satisfied with our setup. So this is my final look at to what I take to Tormented Demons at the moment. Now, I have killed 27 so far. And it's just like an 8-way uh, into melee, 8-way into magic. Use the Mark of Darkness and then just autocast the Dark Demon Bane. It does a beautiful job. I think it auto DPSs just about everything. 5 restores to 1 super divine combat potion ratio. I bring the heart for the big damage. Obviously book of the dead so I can cast trolls. Uh, I have death runes here which I don't think I use death runes for anything. Yeah no, I'm needing this and I'm needing this. So no death runes needed. Uh, obviously sapphire lantern to actually get to the place. And this is the setup. It's beautiful. It works like a charm. Uh, let's keep farming the demons and hopefully maybe potentially get another drop. We'll see.
Okay, so one big thing I never touched on is the ability to use this stuff in PvP. So, uh, the standard at the moment is to just use toxic stuff of the dead. Anytime you go deep wild PKing anything like that, this is just a standard, right? You get the 25 attack bonus in magic here, but most importantly, you get this 15% here in the other bonuses as well, right? But let's see the difference, because I think it is pretty massive, right? Yeah, look at this. So from 25 to 37, that's actually insane. Let's see the Kodai as well, actually. Let's see the difference between Kodai, which is, I guess, another thing that could be used. So staff going from 25 to purging staff going to 37, which is crazy. And Kodai is literally less. You do lose a bit on the magic damage, which I don't know how that calculates. Okay, so staff has 15 magic damage. This has 15 magic damage. And then you lose magic damage, but you gain on the accuracy. So you do a little bit less damage, but you will definitely hit more often. You lose two max hits, though, in the process. Or one max hit. But this, I can see this being used as a new, like, uh, basically no honor NH, like, stuff. Honestly, I could, I could see that be a thing. Oh, you can parch it. Right, right, right. And it has a spec bar. Oh my god, yeah, true. But apparently you cannot parch it, which I think will be fixed eventually. Uh, but even then, it's a 40 million risk you're adding to the deep wild PKing if you go out with this thing. What I like about this, they don't change the textiles that often. Like, demonic gorillas change the textiles all the time. These guys are pretty chill. You more or less for almost an entire fight, you're gonna be usually changing prayer once. That is actually the first drop that is not a random herb or a rune dagger or a battle staff. Because the drops here are absolutely boring. Outside of obviously the rare drops that you would like to see. Do I think the staff is the best new weapon? I think so. Because not only is it, I think, the biggest DPS in the actual demons. Like if you wanna kill them yourself. But for PvP, I will be using this in the deep wilderness 100%. The catch chance on that thing is honestly amazing. So I think just because of that, I can see this easily keeping the price over 40, even over 50 mil. Okay, do we get lucky? Kill number 50. It's been really fun and I'm definitely gonna do this even further post video. But the thing is, these guys basically don't drop anything until you land on a claw drop or until you land on a synapse drop. So Victim will probably throw a little loot picture on the screen right now just to kind of show you. If I were to sell the synapse as I got it, I could have gotten about 39 million for it. I do believe the price will stay fairly high simply because of the purging staff having the ability to be used in PvP and actually being really good because of the magic accuracy. Other than that, the mobs are very fun to kill. Obviously the loot is trash until you get a good drop. And uh, yeah, we're probably gonna kill some more. We don't know the drop rates. I'm gonna assume the drop rate is either 1 in 128 to see a drop or a 1 in 256. But I, I, I think it's 1 in 1 to 8 to either see the synapse or to see the claw. Uh, but obviously we're gonna have to wait till more people get the drops and more information is given to us on the wiki. Regardless, I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did and you made it this far, consider subscribing, consider liking, and in about one week's time, there's Deadman Mode Armageddon coming, so we're gonna be posting every single day for about two weeks, I think. So, I'm really looking forward to it, hopefully you guys are as well, and I'll see you again very soon with another video. Have a good one, and bye-bye.